Hi. This is the whipped car path, um, and we're going to walk up through the forest to Manor Redbridge. On the way, I'll show you all the key points, turnings, etc. So hopefully that will help. So here's here's the start point anyway. So, Right, that's your path ahead. This is what you can see around you. I'll walk it a little bit. I just the point we're coming up to now, the path go straight on our bears left now we're gonna bear left and go up up the hill through the woods it's called the whips so you can't get lost from there you just keep following that path there's only so many points I can show you otherwise I've run out of um, of time <laughs> Oh, not time, sorry. Out of battery time. Although I have got a charger with me just in case. That's pretty slow, so. Uh, right, this is the left turn. So there's the sign. I'll bring you up to that. You take the left there. There it is, and then we're going up there. There we go. So I'll show you another little bit of this forest. Lovely day. Nice blue sky, but quite chilly. But I reckon I'll survive. I'd rather be here than working anyway. <laughs> Beats painting ceilings. This is my first attempt at this sort of thing, so I'm not. Uh, there's no gimbal on this, so if you, sorry if it's a bit rocky. So then, I stopped for a couple of minutes so I can change my jacket. It's getting a bit hot now. It'll be too hot late, do it? Um, it's lovely, isn't it? All the trees are green. No, oh well. <laughs> Used to go out with her. What I loved about her was a wooden leg. Anyhow, I get changed and uh, I'll show you the next part of the, uh, of the trail. Here we go, we're still going upwards. We'll pass that little marker there. We we'll turn left on this path. You can't really go wrong. There's, a, there's other paths leading off, but just stick to the main path. Up you go. They've done a lot of uh, tree fell in recently so this used to be all wooded but it'll grow back they're replanting they're not they had to do it because of the diseased trees
I've been coming here since the early 90s uh, and I've done so many walks and I see so many people who have documented their walks for people which is really great and I thought well do you know what I'll do mine and then people can enjoy it too if they don't know the way so show them the way go Let's keep going straight up here and at the top of this path you take a right turn There we go, and there's another another marker for you. We'll turn right here. Make sure it's locked. Everybody, please make sure you lock the gates because they're livestock. Farmers are great around here, but obviously, when people don't lock the gates, I know most people do, you do get done that don't. And it spoils it for everyone. And it's particularly the farmer and his stock. If anything happens to his stock, it costs him money. And there's, a, there's the Bristol Channel. And you've got Cardiff down there, you probably can. It's a bit misty today, but it's down there. I'll give you a better view in a moment. There we go. Opens up some brilliant views in a moment. Nice little bench there if you want to uh, stop and have a coffee. I often do, but I'll have a coffee a bit further on. Because i got a way to go. But it's a lovely place to walk. You get quite windy up here, so if you do come, even if it feels quite warm down below, bring some warm gear because uh, it does get pretty nippy quite quickly up here, quite exposed. I know you can't see me and you're disappointed because my six foot frame is not in the picture but hey, you can't have it all, eh? I used to be six foot, but I wore my feet down. Anyhow, here we go. Right, from here, if you look down, that's Lanishan Reservoir. Got a pair of them. Um, I can't 
can zoom in because this GoPro's not that good, but if things, if people bother to look, then I'll get a decent, better quality camera. couple of weeks this field will be full of full of lambs it's quite quite a nice sight and if that in the distance you can't see it from here no that there is right in front I pretty sure is Craig Craig Rolt. I'm pretty sure it is but Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I'll right, stay around this muck. Done this a few times, eh? Got on the trees much easier. There we are, like. No problem in it, but right here we go. Right, we cannot pass this mobile mast. Not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but necessary, I suppose. Otherwise, we won't get any signals, are we, boys and girls? Sorry, right. Just keep going on now. I'll give you come back on when we're going for the next turning point. See you in a bit. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. There you go. Still going down this track. Same track. I'm turned anyway yet. I'll let you know like, didn't I? Here we go, coming up to the end of this path now and you come to a very very minor road up and over and then you turn right okay I'll just show you there's some nice cattle in there See if I can get this. So right, here we go. Turning right. That's how, how it looks. If you want to go back up there.
a quiet road but you do get the odd car or tractor up here um, it's about three meters wide so just uh, obviously just jump into the hedgerow feet first or head first and get your feet poking out there's usually some pigs down by here I don't know if they'll be here today good if they are because they're quite fun they come always come to always come to see you they're usually in this little patch of grass land by here but they don't seem to no I can't see them today that's where they normally are on this electric fence anyone that's interested I'm going to also record this as a GPS map so if you want a copy of it so you can see the route yourself on paper just drop me a line I'll send it to you message should I say sorry drop me a line when days finish you know to go right I'll see you in a bit There's a gate here. The farmers leave it open, but the sign clearly says, or well not the, all the farmers, should I say, but who leaves it open, I don't know. But but it says close it. So I'll close it. Whoops, bad filming. Anyway, here's this shed. I've always, always really fancied the idea of would it be great to buy it and convert it. And then carry on up the hill. So we come around this bend now and it gets really quite steep. You can see past Pant Glass Farm. And we call this the corrugated road. So a little bit more this corrugated road. I turned it off when there's people going past because they get a, some people get a bit uh, get a bit upset about the film. Although in public you can film whatever you like, 
but there's no point in upsetting people unnecessarily. So I don't offer it to them anyway. There's only room room for one handsome person in this video and he's talking to you. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, follow this road until it takes that right turn and it goes up past the farm. It's a lovely robin there. <laughs> anyway, we're going up past the farm. This is David's farm, it's called Kevin on farm. Um, David's the farmer. I got to know him quite well over the years. Oh, he's one of the cats. Looking for a few rats in your boy. You look like you could like you can handle yourself. Yes. Looks a bit like Steptoe's yard, mind this farm. Dog's gonna be on top of the shed. Oh, there he is. Just ignoring me today. Hello. Following this road, right past the farm. Here's the chucks. Come up to say hello. What is it, boys? I don't smoke, sorry, boys. Right, I've turned this on just so we can listen. Just listen. Apart from me waffling, this is a uh, so peaceful. sign is quite clear. Now there's the gate and it's wide open. I just don't get it. Why can't they just close a bloody gate? Okay you might have to get out of your car and open it again to get through. But hey ho. Here we go, look. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Gate's 
close. Give it a tree down, isn't it? Obviously. Ah, I reckon a tree hit the gate. That's what flattened it. Anyhow, we just keep walking. A little memorial to somebody. I don't know who, but it's very nice. Very peaceful. Oh, there we are, directly ahead. That is Manad Machen. There we go. Then I'm going to make my way back yeah, up. I'll see you. you. I'm all the best. See ya. Good walk back. <laughs> see ya. There we go. Always go. Always go. So there we go. Now we're on the way back down. So I'm going to. I've never come over this end before, so I'm going to have to. Uh, use my map a little bit more to find my way so anyway this is the summit and uh, then it's rugby path it's across a field but you can see this it's been well trodden not a problem. So just keep, keep following. I'll show you what it looks like from this angle. There we go. what it looks like from this angle. There we go. So you keep following the path down. You pass um, stables on your right. And you do, you know, quite a lot of, obviously quite a lot of training going on there. So just keep following the path down.
But they all look the same after one, don't they? <laughs> if I ever get lost, this is my last vlog. So, uh, you can follow my last footsteps. <laughs> like you'd want to. Yeah, I'll speak in a bit. And there's a little in the bare left then, onto the little road. Okay. <laughs> Take me with me, we'll all get lost together. Look <laughs> at <Go> that. <laughs> Leave your picnic table out constantly. It's cool. It's brilliant. Nice little place this. This is cool. Right, when you get to this road, this is just past the houses, which is been bare left. And start following that road. Hope we lead somewhere. Somewhere nice. <laughs> Looking better at <laughs> Otherwise I'll see you next week boys. Right then everyone, when you get to this point of the road, you turn right. You're going up through the up through the forest now. Okay. There's a so path leads up through the woods. I'll put the grid reference for this turning because it's easy to miss. But there you go. That's the uh, what there is of the sign. We we'll make our way up through the forest now, or up through the woods. It's not much of a, of a scenic path, but it's a path. It'll end. It'll lead you to somewhere. <laughs> Probably the road to nowhere. <coughs> this is when your navigation comes in really useful. I think it's easier to hike over a mountain range than navigation wise. If the if it's clear because you can see normally your next point and you can just head for it this is like you're just trusting in your map your compass to point you in the right direction and if you if you read it right you will shitty path though I probably could have come from a better path than this. But anyhow, here we go. <coughs> That's the way it is. Right, when you get to this point, we're going to turn left across this field, okay, through, through this gate. Oh, me coming through the gate. Here we are. Oh, that is there. Here we are. Right there. We're across the field now, boys. Thanks. I don't know why, but I quite love this. <laughs> right. That's right across the field. Going across the field. And the field. From this angle. 
there's a few houses in front of it so uh, exactly where it ends up I couldn't tell you Beautiful houses there, though. Look at that. I think I'll have that one. Keep it for the weekends only. I don't want to mess about too much. Oh, there's a little church that was on the OS map. A dinky little church there. The older building. And then we reach this gate. You can tell the cows have been on this place. Look at it. There we go. And here we are. So these dinky little places. We never knew existed. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? I've lived so close to this, I never ever in my life. Everyone, when you come out of that little pathway that I just came up, you'll come out and you'll see this church in front of you. It's called St. James's. Turn left. I'm still following the road, but as roads go, yeah, it's very peaceful anyway, so it's still really nice. It just gives you a nice surface to walk on. There we go then folks, when you're halfway, when you're up this road, keep your eye out for this right turn up there. It's going to go up here, up this path here. I'll put the grid reference for this as well, so you know where you are. Okay, so far, so good, I think. we go, making our way up through over this 
walk it through the woods. I don't know what this will edit like. I'm not sure it'll be worth watching. Uh, I'll take a look. It's all done. See what it comes up with. Okay, dog. Let's just keep going. I think this is the way. I think this is the way back, isn't it? Right. I know. Right. We just come up the top of that path. And you'll see there's a junction here. Now we're going right, but there's something I want to show you for a minute. There's an old, interesting, it's an old World War II bunker that was going to be used for the secret army in case um, we were invaded. So it's a really nice bit of history. It's, uh, There's the uh, board to tell you all about it. And here we have the bunker itself. It's a shame it's not uh, that it's not properly set up so you can see properly. But this is uh, considering what it is, it's pretty poor really. Uh, made some effort to uh, conserve it better than this. It's a piss poor effort, really, isn't it? Considering. There you are. There's a, a big shaft down there. Anyhow, <coughs> that's what it is. Right, when we got to this point here, you can go straight on, or you can go left. Straight on will take you back up past that farm, and then you turn left and come back up that little road we came down on originally you know when we first came off that first bit of ridgeway oh, but I'm going this way because I need to get back a bit quicker because I got the dog waiting for me <coughs> so I can't leave him too long so here we go so I'm going back to the whips this way Take that to happen. Okay. I felt the touch of the kings, a 
Waiting for you. 